In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today is Monday of the second week of Easter, and with the whole church we continue to celebrate this great mystery of the Lord's resurrection. But first, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins and to ask for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of the heavenly maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said, by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, your servant. Why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm, Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself 
have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man, once grown old, be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills and you can hear the sound it makes, but you make no but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Christ, at the end of today's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, St. Luke tells us that the early Christians spoke the word of God with great boldness. Nothing could deter them. Nothing could frighten them. For they now knew that Jesus was risen and alive. And because Jesus was risen and alive, everything had changed. And there was no longer anyone or anything to fear because God had raised Jesus from the dead. In the words of today's gospel, those first followers of Jesus had been born from above. They had been born anew by the power of God's Holy Spirit. And so there was no one nor anything that they feared. Many of us are very fearful these days. We are fearful about our health and about the health of our loved ones. We are fearful about what the world will be like when all of this has passed. And I understand that fear. I am in its grip as well. But today's readings remind us 
that in the great scheme of things, there really is nothing to fear if we truly believe in the resurrection. For if we believe in the resurrection, then we know that life is always more powerful than death. We know that God loves us and will be victorious in God's way, in God's time. So do not be afraid. Rather, believe and hope. And most importantly, love. As we offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father, let us be mindful of the needs of the church and the world. For Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit continue to guide him as he shepherds his flock. The church, let us pray to the Lord. For world leaders, may God grant them the courage and wisdom in protecting the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who do not yet believe in God, may the Lord stir in their hearts a desire to know him. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit increase in us the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, particularly those who have no one else to pray for them, may the Lord welcome them into the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, maker of heaven and earth, we ask you to hear the prayers of your family gathered here today. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the risen Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us take a moment now to be in spiritual communion with our risen Lord and Savior, and so to be in spiritual communion with each other. Let us pray. 
Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace now to love and serve the Lord. And please join us tomorrow for another Liturgy of the Word.